Hi guys, today we're going to talk about enthalpy. This is a common term na may encounter ninyo when you are studying thermodynamics and physical chemistry as well as thermochemistry. No? So in here, we're going to explain yung mga usual na definition na makikita natin sa book which is this one, itong equation na to. So we will be explaining kung ano ba yung ibig natin sabihin diyan. And we will be also deriving yung ating delta H uh, by relating it sa first law of thermodynamics. So, we will have our definition of enthalpy right here. And what do we mean kapag ang ating delta H is greater than or less than zero? And to explain further, para maintindihan natin how do we apply that, we will be answering this problem in here. no? So, we will be applying itong uh, natutunan natin dito sa ating video ngayon about enthalpy and how do we relate that sa first law of thermodynamics okay so hindi na natin patatagalin pa let us now jump to our discussion well enthalpy is a very common term when you are studying thermodynamics physical chemistry and thermochemistry so you will be encountering a lot of this when you are studying thermodynamics but in spite of that the concept behind enthalpy is often not that clear to students. So, it is better that before we proceed to our succeeding topics, let us be clear ano ba tong tinatawag nating enthalpy. Well, if we go to our reference books, you will see that enthalpy is actually defined as the sum of internal energy and the product of the pressure and volume. So, therefore, it is written this way. Okay, the H here represents enthalpy. And katulad ng ating definition kanina, enthalpy is the sum of the internal energy and the product of the pressure and volume. Well, if you have a look at our equation, you will notice that internal energy, pressure, and volume are all state functions. It means that they do not depend on the path taken to reach that specific value. Well, to understand more about that, we will create a separate video explaining what do we mean by a state function and how does it differ to a path function. Okay, so we will be creating a separate video about that para ma-explain natin to ng mas mabuti. But since our internal energy, pressure, and volume are all state function, it means that our enthalpy is also a state function. And when we are calculating a change in state function, our concern will just be the difference between the final value and the initial value. So therefore, our change in enthalpy will be equal to the change in our internal energy plus P delta V. Now, kung makikita natin, yung delta natin is only on V, not on P. Okay, because later on, we are going to define enthalpy in a different way. We are going to explain that later on. But for now, let me tell you that um, in many processes, no, constant pressure is very common compared to constant volume process. This is because many are carried out in an open vessel. Okay, kaya kung makikita ninyo, marami tayong processes in which it is operating under atmospheric pressure, no? Open yung ating vessel. So, that means we are operating on constant atmospheric pressure. Well, of course, our pressure will be fluctuating over time, no? But this will be very little. So, we are considering it as a constant pressure process. Okay, so, on this case, we know here that our delta H is the change in enthalpy. Which actually means that it is the heat added or removed on the system. We're going to explain that further later. So, let's say this is the heat added or removed from the system, okay? We're going to explain this further later on in our discussion, okay? Then, of course, our delta U here is our change in internal energy. Okay, so change in internal energy. Okay, now 
what about this P delta V in here? Okay, so we already learned this in our previous video about work. We learned previously that work is equal to negative P dV, right? So, therefore, our P delta V here is actually work that is done by the system. Okay, so let us write here, work done by the system, okay? So, you can learn more about this uh, in our video about work and our video about the first law of thermodynamics. So, mas malilinawan kayo tungkol sa ibig nating sabihin dito. Alright, so katulad ng sinabi natin, ano, mas magiging malinaw to kapag ka, nag-aral na tayo ng first law of thermodynamics. But, let us have a quick look about that. So, we learned in our first law of thermodynamics that our change in internal energy is equal to Q plus W. This is according to the first law of thermodynamics. Now, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina dito, no? our W, which is work, is equal to negative PDV. Okay, so if I'm going to substitute that here, we have our delta U is equal to Q minus P delta V, okay, or PDV. No? Okay, so we have now our delta U in here. Now, we can substitute this, our change in internal energy, dito sa ating equation in enthalpy, okay? So, we will now have here our delta H, which is equal to our internal energy, no? the change in internal energy. So, I will have here Q minus P delta V, okay? So, ito yon. Sinubstitute lang natin sa ating delta U dito. Then, we have plus P delta V, okay? So, plus P delta V, okay? So, as you can see, meron tayo dito minus P delta B, and we have plus P delta B. So, therefore, this will be equal to zero. Okay? It will be cancelled out. So, finally, makikita natin that our delta H is equal to Q at constant pressure. Okay? So, at constant pressure, our change in enthalpy is nothing more than the heat absorbed or given off by the system. Okay, so equal lang siya sa ating heat. And this actually give us another definition of enthalpy. And it will help us really understand kung ano ba tong tinatawag nating enthalpy, no? So magkakaroon tayo ng mas malinaw na understanding kung ano yung tinatawag nating enthalpy. Kasi medyo mahirap intindihin what do we mean by enthalpy, no? So enthalpy is the heat absorbed or given off by a system under condition of constant pressure. Okay, so we have another definition of enthalpy base dito sa natutunan natin ngayon. Now, since our enthalpy is equal to the heat either absorb or given off, take note that if our delta H is greater than zero, this actually means that we have an endothermic process. So, this is an endothermic process, which means that there is an absorption of heat. Okay, so we absorb heat. Okay, so, sorry, we mean absorb heat. And similarly, if our delta H is less than zero, that means we have an exothermic process, okay? So, we have an exothermic process, which means that we expel heat, okay? Heat. Okay, so heat is given off, okay? So, that's what we need to take note on this values na na makukuha natin for delta H. Okay? So, if you're going to the basic definition na makukuha natin dito sa ating libro, okay? 
Kasi usually, ito lang yung definition na makikita natin. Ano? They will give you the definition of enthalpy as the sum of the internal energy and the product of the pressure and the volume. But looking at this equation, okay, let us try to understand kung ano sinasabi sa atin ng equation na to. This means that the heat added to the system, which is our enthalpy, no? because we know that uh, enthalpy is just equal to the heat absorbed or given up at constant pressure, di ba? So, that means the heat added or released to our system, which is the enthalpy, is used to increase or decrease the internal energy and to expand the system against the pressure of the atmosphere, okay? Or if we have constant pressure, let's say the atmosphere, no? So, that is what is happening in our enthalpy, no? So, I hope naging malinaw to sa inyo. But, let us try to solve a problem para makita natin talaga how do we apply this in solving problems involving enthalpy. So, let's say we have this problem now here. An ideal gas expands from a volume of 6 decimeter cube to 16 decimeter cube against constant external pressure of 2.026 times 10 to the fifth newton per square meter. We need to find the enthalpy change if the change in internal energy is 418 joules. Okay? So, sulat muna natin yung mga given natin para mas madali natin siyang makalculate. So, we have our initial volume which is 6 decimeter cube or cubic decimeter. No? So, this is equal to, if you're going to convert this to meter, uh, this is equivalent to 6 times 10 to the negative 3 cubic meters. And then we have our final volume, which is 16 cubic decimeter. Okay? We, in which, if we convert to met cubic meters, we have 16 times 10 to the negative 3 cubic meters. Okay, then we have a uh, constant external pressure. No? So, we have constant external pressure which is equal to 2.026 times 10 to the fifth newton per square meters. And of course, given din yung ating change in internal energy which is equal to 418 joules. Alright, so una natin gagawin is to find out kung ano ba yung work uh, that was done in here. So, we know that our work is equal to negative P delta V, no? So, alam na natin yan. So, we'll just have to substitute itong mga values natin dito, no? So, we have negative our P, which is 2.026 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so we have negative our pressure, which is uh, 2.026 times 10 uh, to the fifth newton per square meter times the change in volume. No, so we have our final volume, which, which is 16 times 10 to the negative 3 minus our initial volume, which is 6 times 10 to the negative uh, 3, and the unit is in cubic meters. Okay. So, therefore, our work here will be in newton meter, no, na unit, which is equal to joule. Okay, so let us solve this using our calculator. Okay, so unahin na natin itong subtraction ng ating volume. So, we have 16 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay, then minus 6 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay, so negative 3. So, we have 0.01. Then, we will multiply that dito sa ating um, pressure, which is 2.026 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so our answer here is negative 2,026. Okay, sorry. 0 to 6, okay, so 0 to 6 uh, joule, okay, because we have newton meter as a unit in here. Okay, so alam na natin yung ating work. Now, we're going to use 
yung equation natin in first law of thermodynamics, which is delta U is equal to Q plus W. Okay? So, we know the value of delta U and we know the value of W. So, therefore, we can get the value of Q, which is delta U, okay, a minus W. Okay? So, let us substitute our value. Q is equal to our delta U, given now, which is 418 joules. So, we have 418 joules minus our W work, which is negative um, 2,026 joule. Okay? So, therefore, our Q is 418 joules plus, okay, this is in joules, plus 2,026 joules. Okay? So, therefore, our Q is actually equal to 2,026 plus 418 joules, which is 2,444 joules. Okay? So, we also know because we are operating here at constant external pressure. So, at constant external pressure, we know that our delta H is equal to our Q at constant pressure. So, that means pareho lang yan. Our delta H is equal to 2,444 joules. Okay? So, this is our final answer in here. And we have a positive value of our delta H. Which means, uh, according sa natutunan natin kanina, if we have a positive value or greater than zero value of delta H, that means we have an endothermic process or we absorb heat in our process. So, this is what happens dito sa ating problem ngayon. So, I hope uh, this helps you in your study and understanding kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng enthalpy. So, we will learn more about thermodynamics sa mga succeeding videos pa natin. No? We will try to explain kung ano yung mga kailangan nating matutunan in learning thermodynamics. So, this is all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.